Yo, we're here to support Josh Katz. We're here to support Bad Flower. We're here because we're Angel of Discord. Go ahead and like and subscribe below. We're all about punk rock. We're all about uh, diversity and trying everything and eating a little bit out of every pot. Here is Worm Womb. Here we go. Hey, hey. Uh, check my music out on Spotify. I'm Worm Womb. Uh, we're, we're out here repping <laughs> Bad Flower tonight. From Missoula. From Missoula. You played the Kettle House. We loved it. Uh, oh. And here's Dylan Albans right here. Hello, I'm uh, Dylan Albans. I uh, I do photography. I uh, I shoot photos on film, and <laughs> <laughs> you can cut that out. Um, yeah. And uh, here we are. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Dylan on Instagram as well. And oh, honestly, nice. he's being very humble. He's being very humble. The truth is. We're all a little bit having a lot of fun, so we're about to watch this show. Are you guys ready? It's Bad Flower. Oh shit, he's gonna kill himself. <laughs> I think we were all having fun for a second. What's up, Dylan? Uh, just right off the bat, this is my favorite music video we've watched so far. Like, I've loved the music of the other songs, but this one, it's like, this is this is good. I yeah, think you're gonna love this band, you'll be a fan. I just love um, Josh Katz's vision, actually the whole band's vision. I don't know what the other, you know, people play in, in the vision creation, but um he's willing to go where a lot of people aren't and it's ref really refreshing honestly and he looks and sings just like justin bieber let's go on <laughs> <laughs> Let's read this quote really quick. Suicide doesn't change the life. It doesn't end the chances of life getting worse. Okay, you go ahead. Suicide doesn't end the chances of life getting worse. It eliminates the possibility of it ever getting any better. Wow. Like that, uh, it's like that Michael Scott quote. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you miss a hundred uh, percent of the the shots, shots you, you don't take, take uh, Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. Michael Scott. Quote. End quote. Wayne Gretzky. Quote. <laughs> oh. I tried it once before, but I didn't get too far. Can I stop just to turn this up? He sounds a little bit like the guy. Whoa! Oh my God, we're about to take off. Sounds a little bit Whoa. like the guy from Panic at the Disco. <laughs> oh, I think he'd actually like that compliment. What do you think, think Kels? Like don't even ask me how I feel about Josh Katz. Just don't even get me started. He's gonna crawl up to you one day. <laughs> <laughs> I felt a lot of pain, but it didn't stop my heart. And all I really wanted was someone to give a little fuck. But I waited there forever, and nobody even looked up. Okay, are you already drifting away, Dylan? I can see what? you're drifting away. It's I, fucking good. Yeah, I, I, I stopped becoming a uh, reviewer, and I just started watching it. <laughs> yeah. I knew you would love this band. They're so good. Yeah, I would be. Yeah, just don't even get me started on Josh Gads. <laughs> He'll crawl up to you one day. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm 
I'm just curious to watch this video now. To let's see go. Let's ripped. go. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I know. You just came. I just it. want some french fries. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun, you guys. <laughs> Do you think it's going to hit here? <laughs> okay, I know I'm not a musician, but I, I, I can tell. <laughs> it's about to hit. Like yeah, it seems like this pretty girl's about to die. Yeah, they built up some yeah it's scary. Some here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> it's about to hit. Let's go. Did that hit? <laughs> I just took a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that hit. That fucking hit me. I fucking felt did that. Legit, it, did this legit happen to him? Did he lose someone that he really loved? I wonder. I I wouldn't doubt it. In Montana, I've lost five or six. How about you? <laughs> I uh, you know, it's it's so good. I'm not answering the question right now. <laughs> Just uh, it's so good that I'm not looking at the lyrics. I'm just kind of getting lost in the story, so I can't really talk on the lyrics. Yeah, it's yet. amazing. You just wait till you hear the lyrics. Just don't get me started on Josh Cats. Just don't. He'll crawl up to you one day. <laughs> I tried it like before, and this time I made a deep cut. I thought about my friends in the way I didn't give enough And I should have told my mother, mom, I love you like a good son But this life is overwhelming and I'm ready for the next one Take the bait away from me I am a freak There's a lot of mannequins there. Um, is this like, I mean, what does that suggest? Suggest, suggest, su suggestive of, <laughs> suggestive of, suggestive of. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> I think maybe he's playing to an audience of mannequins because he's never got to know himself. Can I just say my theory? I think this is where he's getting into like the creepy because he gets into like creepy he has multiple songs about stalkers like internet stalkers and stuff so he goes into like the creepy psychology of like people and i think that for like he lost somebody and he's having a mental break and this is just kind of his weird like grieving process <laughs> <laughs> Are those uh, damn good fries well Somebody made me laugh while I took a bite and ketchup went up my nose <laughs> from inside my mouth. And it's been burning this whole time. So I haven't been thinking of a thought. I've been focusing on minimizing the burning. That's so good. That's the best review of this movie I've ever seen. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> whoa whoa he's putting the ring on the finger of lady death am i right holy shit what a good metaphor especially for somebody that i think has struggled with heroin if i understand right i think josh cat struggled with that and holy shit what a metaphor as somebody who chases a high i can only imagine what it's like to chase a heroin high and you're kind of putting at some point once you fucking finally like decide to end it all you know, because the downs are so bad, I can only imagine that you feel like you're putting your fucking ring on the finger of Lady Death. You're marrying her. Oh. Holy shit. I had never um, taken that away from the music video. I thought it was about, like, love lost. But, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, a golden figure. She's shiny and light. And he leans forward, and at first she's a mannequin because it's something that you can never even imagine could happen to you. But then once you get close enough, you lift the veil, and you see she's a beautiful woman, and you're ready to marry her. Holy shit, what a metaphor for death. That blows my mind. I think I might black out I should have left a letter But I had nothing to write about uh, My blood is all around me I get dizzy if I stand up The cutting part was easy But regretting it is so fucked because he's no longer looking at death as a beautiful woman. Wait, I, I, I totally missed that. I'm going back five seconds. It's back to being, it's back to being a mannequin because at first he was idolizing death and she became a beautiful woman and he was ready to marry her. He's ready to die. And then she goes back once he wakes up in the hospital after trying to kill himself to realizing she's just a mannequin. It's just a oh, fake nice. concept. How'd you get that? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I, I'm not going to label the illicit substances that I inhaled with both of you. <laughs> but it didn't yeah, hurt. We did not do They're not illicit. That. It's it's only okay. weed. <laughs> it's only weed. Oh. The joke is illicit, but the fact is that's legal. <laughs> I know, but... Uh, I'll cut it anyway. I'll cut it. So what do you think the truck hitting the woman was all about then in relation to your metaphor? Okay, okay. No, you go first, you go no, first because you go. the question was specifically about your metaphor and I was okay. going to go on. With my metaphor, I think that it still remains the same. I think he was maybe killing himself because of a woman dying and that he felt guilty. But then the woman becomes what he's chasing after, which is so sad is that the woman died and now he's chasing after her. Mm. And he misses her so much he's willing to die for her. Yeah, I wonder if this actually happened to Josh Katz. If you guys know, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> if so, that would be horrible and we wish the best for Josh Katz. I think it's just a brilliant music video either way. It definitely moved me. Um, and on such a low budget, they made such a message. It's very inspiring. I'm going to I'm going to make a different take and I this Go. is going off the dome. <laughs> off um the dome. 
Well, I wasn't fully paying attention to the mannequin part, so I don't know how, uh, if there was a romance between him and the mannequin. Uh, the mannequin part uh, threw me for a loop, to be honest. I thought this was a story of maybe somebody who was getting, uh, you know, engaged and married to somebody who wasn't really there, and then they got married, and it's like, oh, you're a real person, and now I love you. And then she actually died. Um, but, like, maybe he was only... She only seemed interesting to him during the wedding and then maybe it's not actually a great relationship but that's also but then also he killed himself to be with her because he remembered that memory but then it's like oh she's still boring here that's actually dark (laughs) that's a a dark take but it's a valid take it's It's not the take i took away yeah it's the off the (laughs) dome it's all it's off the dome um that's not my forever opinion i love the off the dome which is true whenever we're talking we are doing our first time reaction. We've never seen this artist. We've never seen their music before. We've never watched their music video. And so it's usually off the dome. And we're just doing a first time impression of the music video. No worries. <laughs> we love you all. Thank you for tuning in. Here's Kels. Um, oh, gosh. I had something to say. <laughs> I don't, I don't have anything to say anymore. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. It felt important. Um, like, what are your personal digits? No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, she loves Josh Katz. She loves him no, so I, much. No, I, I, I always say, <laughs> no, he'll I don't. crawl up to you one day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> hey, so like if Josh Gat, Gat, Cat, Cat, if Josh Cat, Cat wanted Cat. to find like a a really, I don't know, like one or two really cool musicians to check out. Like, do you know any that we could recommend? Oh, I would um, think Angel of Discord's number one. And number two <laughs> is... <laughs> you could always check out Worm Womb. Good old girl. Worm Womb. <laughs> number two. And number three would be, of course, for Josh Katz, if he needs to make a better music video, which I don't know how he could, unless he was under the management of Dylan Albans. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Dylan Alvins. I I uh, I, I do photography. Uh, I, do mu- I do I uh, do music videos. Um, I uh, I wake up at five a.m. to uh, shoot a music video and then th- take three years to edit. Uh, <laughs> <Dylan>. <laughs> <Sorry>. Don't <laughs> give self- away. Don't give away what we did. <laughs> As a team, we we both had a part in that. <laughs> Yeah. Making this music video at 5 a.m. <laughs> it took three years to edit. Yeah. It's, We're going to have a great it's time, gonna though. It's going to be a great video. It's going to be great. It's going to be... In perfect. fact, follow Angel of Discord on YouTube. One day you'll see the video. <laughs> it may be another three years before it's done. No. Yeah, we know this video is like about suicide and everything, but we just solicited all three of our brands. So, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> so kill yourself if you don't <laughs> like it. And ex- <laughs> An expose on what capitalism does to each and every one of us. It's so true. No, in all, in all seriousness, if you have any problems, you can message us in the comments below. And I don't know what I can do. I'll send you some money on Venmo or something, man. I swear to God, whatever it is that needs to make you feel heard. You can always chat with us. You can always have fun. And I can send you some money <laughs> for something. I don't don't like fucking come in with me with a million comments like I need five bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would be fucked. I don't have five million. I need bucks. a hand job ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What? I'm down for that. I'm down. <laughs> but not for all of you. <laughs> I mean, we're just making stuff that uh convicted people do when they go camping. We're just making content. <laughs> Oh, did you get that, Kels? I just got it. So Con- convicted people yeah. go camping and then living in a tent. Oh, con- so content. Con- We're making a content. Con- Anyways, thank you guys for tuning and in. Don't kill yourselves. Don't kill God yourselves, dude. Just hold on one more day. Worst case scenario, you can tell we're having fun and we're a bunch of freaks. So you're probably going to... F- we're a bunch of freaks and we're having a lot of fun. So you shouldn't kill yourself. You could be a freak like us, not like the Josh Katz killing himself or whatever. <laughs> Just find your own little band of freaks.
and you guys just meet up once a week. You talk about how suicidally depressed you are. You eat some yes. French fries. You yes. have some cake. You have a good cry about it. You wake up the next day. You do it all over again. Uh, sounds wow. like a great Saturday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, let's all go over to Kelsey's to cry and uh, eat French fries on a couch. That's the plan. Cheers. That's the plan. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, if you like this bit content and you're that stoned with us, you're that fucking dumb that you're like hanging out with us for an hour, then you should definitely hang out with us for many, many, many more hours. And go ahead and like and subscribe below. P.S. I'm not stoned. I don't do drugs. Nobody. And you shouldn't either. Nobody but bad boys do drugs. <laughs> Hollywood bad boys like me and Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> Hollywood bad boys in Montana. <laughs> Hollywood bad boys living Hollywood in Montana. Bad. Catch us next week for episode one of Hollywood Bad Boys Living in Montana. <laughs> that actually, we should make that into a show. If you guys yeah. comment enough that you want to see that show yeah. below, we'll make that into a yeah. show. Yeah. Like, we would literally put it on YouTube. It would be dope. Cheers, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the inverse of uh, Hollywood Hillbillies, I feel like. Cheers, you guys.